Hello guys, welcome back to 1878 Blues. Everton have beaten Leeds 1-0. Finally, we're beating the team around us. Um, especially at home as well, because the past few se- the past few seasons at home against these these newcomers, I mean, I know Leeds have been in the Premier League for a few seasons now, but just any team really who's promoted or they are battling around us, we just can't seem to beat them. Massive three points today. Um, I'm still not letting the Liverpool loss go. I'm still not. I'm sorry. Um, to be honest, I said they'll get beat today, but they actually beat Newcastle, Liverpool. So, But I think, yeah. I still don't think they pulled back. That's my opinion. Even though people give me banter for it, but um, yeah, yeah, just a v- very, very dogged, um, scrappy, nervous affair at Goodison today. Um, but yeah, the main thing is we got the points. I think that's that's the most important thing. I think another one nil is you know a Sean Dice kind of scoreline which he likes and you know, keeping a clean sheet as well. Just bringing that confidence back. Um, but what Dice said about the Liverpool game to me, I agree and disagree. You know, but um, they've shown something today again. But like I said, I think the fans play their part in that. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, just a very good win. A fantastic goal from Seamus Coleman. Um, a Woby Dinkin here on the right hand side, and then I don't know what Melier is doing, but it's a fantastic strike if I could say not a fantastic goal, but a really good strike by Coleman. Just to, you know, just you can see that Melier is off his line. I don't know why Melier is thinking he's going to cross it when no one's there, but yeah, still um, can't take nothing away from Coleman, who's been an absolute servant to this club. Um, even though he shouldn't really be playing for us still, but that shows the the issues at the club. Um, yeah, um, yeah, many chances for Everton. To be honest, I think we actually deserved the win. Um, I was expecting a lot more from Leeds. Um, we had quite a number of chances. You know, an Arna smashing over the bar after good play from Jessica on a gay. We had Neil Mope heading the goal, um, heading towards goal, cleared off the line. Um. Yeah, we've had many more, you know, even the one at the end with Decore, should, well, not near the end with Decore, um, should have finished it off. Great play from Sims. But, I mean, not amazing, but Chester Board, you can see Decore's on his own, lobs it over to them, and Decore should do so much better. How could you not have two feet? How could you not play with two feet as a Premier League footballer? That baffles me. For the money in football now, I, I expect the next generation of kids to play with both feet. I'm sorry. I think that's crazy how they can't, but yeah, he was trying to cut it in with his right, which was clearly obvious. I think I would have just done it with the outside of the foot. Look, pretend to go for your left and then go for your right, but the Cordy isn't that skillful, I guess. Um, yeah, a little bit of a scrap as well in the game with um, McNeil and Tyler Adams, I think it was. Um, and yeah, just a scrappy affair. I think Lib- um, Leeds had the odd chance, but I thought, I thought we deserved a win. I just think it was so lacking with the, with an attacking forward and a centre attacking mid. Just to kind of these games not make it a one nil if we're playing well or you know deserving to win. Just to make it a bit easier for, for ourselves because I just don't know if I could take the stress anymore from it. Um, but listen. We all expect this because if we do win games, just because of what we have got in front of us and what Sean Dice has got to play with. So um, we'll take it, of course. Well, of course we will. But unfortunately, obviously, but unfortunately, other teams around us have won today. But I've always said, I said to my dad just before, we have to win these games regardless. We, you know, we have to. It's up to us. Um, no matter what other teams are doing, if we're winning our games get 10 wins, 11 wins for the, se- for the season, we should be fine. Um, but we, to me, I don't want just us, I don't want us just to stay up with our home form. Um, I really would like us to show a bit, at least if we don't win many games away from home till the end of the season, I just want to see something. I want to see something, no fear, not getting absolutely played off the park or just having absolutely nothing in terms of getting involved in a game, like I'd, I want us to show more. Um, I can't remember who we've got next, to be honest. I think we've got Aston Villa. 
or maybe a, I'm thinking about some, I don't know, I'm not too sure what we've got next, to be honest, I feel like I kind of don't focus on what we got next, I kind of focus on the game, each game as it is, because every game, like we've, we've said, and many other fans, many of the Everton fans have said that, it's like every game's a cup final, um, it shouldn't be, but it is. But yeah, we're on 21 points now. Um, yeah, 16th, which feels so good, considering... I mean, we could easily go back in the drop zone, uh, the relegation zone, I think. If West Ham win tomorrow, maybe it would be 17th. Um, but yeah, still, to be out of that relegation zone just for a bit and just give us that bit of hope, knowing that you know we're very close to other teams, so about 13th, who are no right safe themselves. So, you know, even if we're 13th, in the next few weeks, it's still very tight down there and things can change drastically. So, a massive win for Everton. Um, yeah, just absolutely buzzing. Um, I think he was right to play Mope as well from the start. I didn't, you know, I think Sims needs to gradually come in, get, gain his confidence. Um, I said, I don't I understand why he started him against Liverpool, but just think. He's nowhere near the player Dominic Calvaloon is in a sense of his experience in the Premier League and his know how how to score goals in this in this league. Um I would have just started Mope against Liverpool to be honest. But that game's gone. Um but I think he was right to start him today with Mope. Um I don't think he was too bad. Um but yeah, gradually throw Sims in every game and just see how he does. Um, and hopefully he can score a goal and hopefully that can build in confidence and hopefully that will you know be something we can use or we can you know something that is a replacement to Dominic Calvert-Lewin for the rest of the season and maybe further on because uh, I can't see Dominic Calvert-Lewin unless they do something with his medical history or whatever um, and try and like fix the problems he has in his daily life then I can't see him ever playing more than 10 league games a season to be honest um, but yeah fantastic win uh, good team performance again the fans are brilliant and we move um, onto the next game whatever that is I'll have a little check in a minute but yeah up the blues let's keep this home form Dice wants this as a fortress it should be a fortress um, and let's just get out of this rot let's just try and get a little run together build the confidence pick as many points as, as we can and kind of just hopefully hopefully because this is Everton who gave you give you hope all the time hopefully just last six seven games of the season maybe kind of just have nothing to play for and just kind of get Dice's plans and ideas into place for next season but it's one win and we're only on 21 points and there's a long way to go. So, yeah, as long as we're winning these games, as long as as, as we're staying in games, then I've got every bit of hope that we can stay up. Um, but yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe, um, and I'll see you all soon.